Hey everybody, it's Carrie Babin Carter, and today I'm going to try to post um, a little bit of a walkthrough of our setup. Um, so for anybody who hasn't seen our other videos, we have a 6x12 cargo trailer, and I got a job out of state, so we were going to just switch to full timing kind of very quickly. So what we've done is we converted the trailer as far as we put in electric water and insulation and then everything else is just stuff from my home that we just put in here until we could try it out and then we can put in a more permanent setup so i'm going to try to show you just sort of from like back to front here i'll show you what the setup is there's one thing that sort of didn't go right and i feel like you know you should show the stuff that didn't go right so the one thing that didn't go right is this outlet right here um, when I got here and I went to plug in, we have a plug in like on the outside of the trailer and then it runs through to three outlets on the inside. This outlet kept tripping and, um, it was happening at back home when we first put in the electric and I thought I fixed the problem. And then I got here and probably the jostling around of driving and stuff like that, it was tripping again. So I took off the faceplate, I pulled it out. There's nothing dangerous exposed. Everything is completely taped off. And I'm just not using it right now. I'm going to get an extension. And the um, the box that the wires are going into, it's just a one-inch box. And for some reason, this one just is giving me trouble. So I may just put um, a wider box on it. And it'll just have to stick out a little bit and not be flush with the wall. Um, so that's the only thing right now that sort of changed my setup. In the back here, it's our kitchen. And right here is supposed to be our refrigerator. I have, I'll show you without trying to move too fast. Down here I have just a little refrigerator. It's just a little fridge freezer. Um, that uh, I wasn't actually even, I didn't own and I wasn't going to buy. But my sister and my son bought it for me for Mother's Day. Um, so that is supposed to be right here. And then I was going to put the toaster on top of it, and that's what was going to plug into there. But I had to switch it around. So those are shelves in a garbage can that are meant to be on the other side. But it works fine here. For a sink, we this is one of the things I bought. Um, I had to buy a sink and figure out what I wanted to use for a sink. And I feel like a lot of people use small sinks, like bar sinks and stuff like that. But I really wanted something that I could do laundry in if I wanted to. I could wash in if I wanted to. So I just got a laundry tub. It's only 16 inches wide this way, which is the same width as my little table counter here. So if I wanted to switch the table around this way, I could just have a kitchen along the back. Um, that's just not how I have it set up right now. It is, I'm going to see if I can show you behind it. Um, it's hooked up from the outside right there and then it has a hose on it that's long enough that when I put down the back so let me step back away I got a ramp back and when I put the ramp down into a deck this can go out on the deck and it can also the hose is long enough to go around the side and set on the ground so if I'm doing something like wash and I don't want to keep dumping out my dump bucket of water I can just do it right on the ground so that is why it's in the back and not in the front. That was like the primary thing of me putting the kitchen in the back is I wanted to be able to cook outside. I feel like a lot of people put their kitchen in the back, but they build like a whole wall so you can only access it from the back end. I wanted to be able to access it from either side. So yeah, so laundry tub underneath it is just a bucket and it's got a lid on it, but it is, I cut like a hole in it to go around the pipe and then I can see where the water level is like you can see right there that's where the water level is I had a darker bucket at first but I couldn't see where the water level was so a white bucket for me works better that's a spare tire for my trailer which right now is just there um this is let me step back so it's not I have the lights some of the lights facing this way so I'd be able to see in the back but let me let me change the lighting just so it's not so bright when I'm up front. So this is just a lamp I had in my house. 
Um, it's not good in the fact that it takes up space, uh, but it is good in the fact that I didn't buy it. So um, that's what I'm using right now. I definitely see the value in having like the Christmas lights that kind of go all the way up around because even though it looks bright on this side, when you look down at this side, it's always much darker. Um, so I can definitely see the value of having like the Christmas lights and stuff like that because then you plug them in, it lights up the whole place. But I can switch how many lights are on and stuff like that, so it's cool. Uh, right there is just the towel that I, um, that I dry off my dishes with. I just hang it there so I have some place to hang it. So um, my setup in here is, um, I was trying to figure out water. At home I have a Brita and I didn't want to take up so much space in my fridge if it would have even fit. So what I did was I got a Brita system that you put right on your faucet. So you just run your water like normal. I have the water pressure set really low. Um, and then when you want Brita, you just turn it and then it comes out um, filtered. So that was my setup for here. That way it doesn't take up any room. And then um, I just have a little uh, suction cup thing that you'd have in the bathtub and I have a reusable washcloth and a sponge. And then up here is sort of bathroom kitchen. So um, I have Dr. Bronner's. I always use the unscented because I'd rather add the, the scent that I want depending on what I'm doing with it. So rather than buying a whole bunch of those bottles, I just buy one unscented and then add whatever flavor I want. And then this is a, um, what do you call that? A foaming uh, hand soap dispenser. And then what you do is you add a little bit of soap in there and then you add the rest of it water and it will come out as foaming and I like it. So that's what I do. Um, that is just like the Trader Joe's kind of all around cleaner. Um, what I did for towels and stuff is I have these yellow microfiber things and that's all I brought. I just brought one for everything I would need it for. And so that's what I did. So I have one that goes with my all around, um, cleaning. I have um, deodorant and body spray. The deodorant, I'm trying to get away from the Dove. That's what I've always used, but I know it has the aluminum. So I have um, Pit Putty right there that I'm sort of um, transitioning into. Um, and then I just have whatever, toothpaste, lip stuff, uh, mouthwash, face wash, uh, Lush <clears throat> face spray. And then in this one right here, I have um, a little bit of soap and water and a little bit of lavender and that's my like my body spray that's how we like wash up in the trailer on a sort of daily basis so um, once a week I wash my hair that's all I wash it and I have um, same thing I have lush it's back there in a little container um, like a shampoo bar this is what I use to wash my hair with so once a week I take like a full on shower. The other days I just wash up um, right here in the um, in the tub. So that is like my sort of body soap spray um, to wash up. Up there I have purple conditioner because I have bleached hair. I have my essential oils, which right now I have, I'm using uh, citronella and vanilla, or vanilla, lavender. Lavender for more like personal stuff, like sprays and uh, soaps and stuff like that. And then the citronella, I have a spray down there that I'll show that I use to spray like the curtain and stuff like that for, to keep mosquitoes away. Um, and then uh, one of those magic eraser things and a candle. I don't know why I brought a candle, but it's coffee scented and I love it. So that's sort of that way. On this side, um, this is an old table that used to be in my kitchen and then it was outside by the grill. So it's all worn out and old but again I was trying to use stuff I already had and it fit in here perfectly so there's another box it's kind of bright sorry there's another box on this side um and these are just wooden boxes that were at my grandparents house and I just reused them they're old like grape boxes 
um, and I just reused them. So up there's my plug-in for my cord. This is a, a pill container that has my spices in it. Um, iced tea. I only drink iced tea and water, so that's my iced tea. Um, I also drink hot tea, so that's just an extra bag I have. Um, and then oatmeal for breakfast. Um, so down here, I have a, a what do we call that? A strip that's plugged into that one because I have my TV and my Blu-ray player, but then I also needed to have my lamp plugged in and I also needed to plug in my um, phone when necessary. And basically the reason I need that is because I don't have that other one. Um, this right here, I just haven't found a place for it yet, but that is just, um, I don't know what people call them specifically, but they're like, they're like hillbilly ACs. Um, I'm sure people have seen them before if you look it up, but you just put ice in the bottom, like an ice pack or something cold, and then you put your fan in the, the top part here and have it run and the cold air will come out there. Um, I just have that because, you know, whatever, in the summertime, I'm not running an AC in here. That's my breakfast, which I didn't have yet. Um, this is just a top, uh, it's like one of those silicone bake things that I'm using as a topper. This I sanded off, but it still is like, um, it lets off fibers. So for my food and stuff like that, I just laid that on top. I have a drawer right here that has all my dishes. I have two plates, two bowls, a fork, a knife, a spoon, a spatula, a sharp knife, and uh, whatever these rubber scraper things are. And then below that I have peanut butter, bread. This is my entertainment, which is I took all my DVDs and Blu-rays and I put them in, um, I put them in these, uh, whatever, little, little things. Um, and I sort of wanted them to be organized, so I put them in kind of alphabetical order. So I have all my DVDs of television shows and then I have all my DVDs of movies. Um, cause I don't have great internet, which I'm sure a lot of people don't. I have a bag of rice and I have my toaster. So the toaster was meant to be on the, um, the refrigerator over on the side I'm sitting on. So right now I just have to pull it up and put it on here when I want to use it, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Um, so then let me turn the light back on. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. So panning this way on the wall here, I have my television and my Blu-ray player. Um, the television is on one of these bar things. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, so I can tip it out any way I want to. Um, and then <clears throat> the Blu-ray player, this is just the, the square piece of Luan that I cut out to go around my vent right there. And all I did was put a couple of shelving things that, again, I found at my grandparents' house. Um, they were left over, so I just, that's what I use. Everything in here is pretty much just used stuff. Um, so on this side, let me walk down to the end and you'll be able to see it better. Um, so on this side is my futon. Again, this was an old futon I had in my garage and, um, that's what I used it for, just sitting outside. And so that's all I brought with me. Um, I have just some pillows old pillows and blankets and stuff like that, old sheets underneath. I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but underneath I have, um, my, I don't think you are going to be able to see it. Um, well underneath is like my pots and pans and all I did, the white thing is just one of those like, um, rubber things that you get to go underneath an area rug, um, to keep it from slipping around. I put that down first. And then I just have my pots and pans and stuff like that underneath there, my blender, and I have like a small crock pot and stuff like that. And then on this side is an under the bed bag, which is all the clothing I brought. And then I have this um, mesh tie bag that you have for like, if you're gonna wash like your delicates and stuff like that. And that's what I use for a laundry bag. Again, I already had it. 
I didn't have room for a hamper. So that's what I brought. So that's that. Um, and then up above that is a piece of board that was left over at my parents' house. I did buy the little L brackets, but that was pretty much it. I just have some hot tea. I'm in all these bags to go shopping in. I have ramen noodle in case of emergencies, and my son likes it. I have some rice, some couscous. Um, that is just a box of little stuff that I didn't go through and like put away yet. Um, it's just main, like miscellaneous stuff. Um, that's just a couple books and stuff like that that I have. Those are a couple of DVDs. My towel for when I take a shower and the cocoa fiber, which is what I use for my composting toilet. So that is everything from, I know the light makes it weird, sorry. That's like everything from the door down this way. My TV's there. On this side of the door, I just have my uh, smoke slash uh, CO alarm in case of emergency. Um, so now I'm gonna pan this way. And so next to my bed is my refrigerator. Um, that plug down there works fine. So that's where my fridge is plugged in. And then I have a fan right there. And then this is a space heater that I have for work um, that I use for heat when I need it. Usually I turn it on about three or four in the morning and it works great. Um, the thing I don't like about, and I don't know, I've never owned one, so I shouldn't say this, but the thing I think I don't like about Mr. Buddy heaters and stuff like that is I think you just turn them on and they're just on. The thing I like about this one is um, you turn it on to a certain heat level. There's not a thermostat. It's just a, like a knob and then it'll blow on and off through the night. So it'll like maintain a temperature rather than just blaring hot. And I really enjoy that. Um, next to the refrigerator, if you can see it down there, is my dog my dog's food, Jack's food. And then this is the nose of the trailer. I have my composting toilet. And then on top is the bucket that has the composting stuff in it, which I showed before. I use the cocoa fiber. It's the only thing I've ever used, so I have nothing to compare it to. Um, but so far I like it. Um, so that is that. And then on the floor next to that is, um, let me see if this will come in. If I get out of the way of the light, I'm gonna sit down on the futon. Um, so on the floor, there we go. On the floor next to that, there is a black, um, there's a black mat, a black like, uh, plastic mat that I had for when you put winter boots and stuff like that. That's what I've put down there. And then I have Jack's food and water in it because he slobbers water when he drinks. I didn't want it to get all over the wood floor like constantly. So that's what I have there. Above it, I have my third um, wooden crate box. So um, on this one, I have TP. I have a broom to... Uh, Sweep the floor. Anyone who has dogs understands. Um, that is the spray I was talking about that is water and vinegar. And then I have some citronella in it. And every time I open the door, I just put some mist of it, uh, mist, mist from it on the screen to help with mosquitoes. I haven't had a mosquito in here yet, so hopefully it's working. Uh, my level's there and then my Lucy, my Lucy light. On top of that is just my purse. And then um, then up here I have my calendar, which I use to keep all of my bills on there so that I don't forget. I don't know if other people run into this, but the bank that I use is not everywhere. It's a local bank. So I don't have access to my bank account up here. I can do stuff online, but I can't just go into the bank. So I really want to keep a good track of like when all my bills come out and stuff. That's just markers to mark it up. Um, again, my purse. That's another, um, what do you call it? Another broom, small broom that my grandfather had that I just hung up there. And then below it right here 
is where my fire extinguisher is gonna go um it's in the it's in the back right there i just didn't unpack it yet but i need to unpack it and hang it there in case of emergencies um on this side is another microfiber this one is strictly for wiping off jack's feet when he comes inside in case he gets muddy or really whatever his paws get really dirty and then um this is his leash that i have just around a thing right here and then i use the tie downs that come in cargo trailers is what i use i don't know if you can see it or not but that's what i use to tie him down and that way when he's tied up i can leave the door open and he can come in and out and not run away um i don't know about if some of you people um have dogs that won't run away but that is not my dog so i'm going to show you outside real quick and then we'll wrap this up because it's probably getting way too long for people um so when you walk outside i have um just a cheap tarp that i bought that's on the floor right here and that's just to help keep jack from getting too dirty these are wooden stairs that again were already at my grandparents house so i stole them and they work perfect for getting in and out of the trailer i have this tent which i think i spent like 40 dollars on um that is sitting outside of our trailer i have jack's crate if he needs to get crated up in his toys I have a cooler that was my grandfather's and it's what I use to just store some stuff in. So um, just some extra stuff that I have. I have my camping stove and for right now I'm just using the smaller green propane. I might upgrade to the bigger propane but um, I don't go through it that fast. I just you know boil the water so it's not a big deal. The picnic table is the one that came with the campsite. I just moved it inside. Um, and then this right here is a co uh, composting bin that I already had at home. So as my toilet, my composting toilet fills up, I dump it into here and that's what it composts down in. Um, and I think that's it. And then this tarp right here is one that I hung. So I don't have an, an awning. I just have this tent that I put outside of my trailer. But there's like, let me see if I can show you there's like a gap you know what I mean in between that and that so what I did is I just hung a tarp over to fill that gap and it's actually rained several times since we've been here and that tarp has been amazing because it kept um this whole spot pretty dry this whole spot in front of the trailer it kept it dry so I think I think that's the last of the setup um that's his food. And, oh, this is just a magic screen. I'm sure you guys have seen him before. And then I just cut the very bottom off just so it wouldn't, um, because it was too long. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything. I'm sorry this video is like insanely long. I'll sit down on the futon and just sort of do a, a pan view. So if I'm sitting on the futon, jack it out of the way. Over that way is my sink. And then my kitchen table. And then my television and my Blu-ray player. Smoke alarm. My magic screen. Is that what they're called? It's like the as seen on TV one. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, down there is Jack's area. And the place where I toss all my stuff when I come inside. Bathroom. Refrigerator. And then shelf above. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Any suggestions or anything, let me know. Obviously, if we do like a full-time build, um, we may change, you know, the setup here and there. But again, this was all just stuff to try it out. It's all stuff from my house. It's all stuff that I already owned, except for that sink right there, which I bought. I think it was like, it was the same as a bar sink. It was like, originally I think it was $90. I bought it on sale, so it was only like $50. Oh, and the Brita thing attached to it to purify the water. That was like $25. Bucks. So I did buy those two things. And, um, and I did get the little refrigerator as a present. Um, but other than that, everything here is stuff that I already owned. So, 
that is it. Thanks for watching. Any comments or suggestions, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Bye, guys.